Companies that will make space tourism possible. Hey everyone, welcome to Wacky Universe. I'm your host, Jay. The 2020s are looking to be a time when traveling outside Earth won't just be a long-awaited pipe dream anymore. There's already more than one company that's approaching making that dream a reality and allowing Earth orbit, the moon, and beyond to be the next great vacation destinations. Before we get into the video, make sure to subscribe and hit the bell icon to be notified of all our upcoming videos. And if you end up enjoying this one, hit the like button before you go. 5. Virgin Galactic Virgin Galactic began in 2004 as an exotic and audacious expansion of Virgin Airlines, working to build not spaceships, but space planes. The company first believed they'd be flying passengers into space by 2007, and while behind its personal goals, it's still ahead of its competitors as far as tourism plans are concerned. In December 2018, two of its pilots became the first people in an American launch to reach outer space since NASA's shuttle program shut down in 2011. Virgin Galactic also recently became the first commercial spaceflight company to enter the stock market. The company has already sold over 600 tickets for its six-person flights up into orbit and another 3,700 interested flyers are on the wait list. Each flight will only last a few minutes, but those on board will gain the amazing opportunity to experience zero gravity and see the world from space. Maybe once they bring back their iPhone photos and selfies, these tourists can prove to the naysayers once and for all that the Earth is round. 4. Blue Origin Amazon mogul and richest man in the world, Jeff Bezos, has also been dipping his fingers into the commercial space pie. His company, Blue Origin, has similar plans to Virgin Galactic and is considered its biggest rival when it comes to suborbital commercial flights. However, while Virgin Galactic first began ticket sales nearly as soon as the company first popped up, Blue Origin still aren't on the market nearly 20 years after its founding. The company's new Shepard rocket has been launch tested, though not crewed, and has showed itself to be safety-oriented with escape maneuvers proving themselves successful. It looks like Blue Origin will be playing it as safe as possible, taking its time to perfect its shuttles before opening itself up to potential lawsuits. 3. Boeing Aerospace company Boeing is currently developing its reusable CST-100 Starliner capsule to take astronauts to the International Space Station. It launched its first crewed orbital test flight on December 20, 2019, and is nearly ready to send its first passengers to the station. The company is mostly working on private contracts with NASA, including the upcoming Artemis missions, which will land humans on the moon for the first time in over 50 years. However, space tourism is still a big part of Boeing's space plans. Some of the Starliner's busy schedule will be filled up with tourist visits to the ISS, and Boeing has invested $20 million into competitor Virgin Galactic. Joint projects between the two companies appear to be in the works, but no specifics have been given. 2. NASA While NASA may be a government agency and not a private corporation, it won't be leaving all the potential profits to eccentric billionaires. All seven previous space tourists, from the first in 2001 to the last in 2009, have flown to the International Space Station with NASA's permission and wallet open. The Orbiting Science Lab will once again become a luxury space hotel starting later this year. Two space flights a year to the ISS will be reserved for private astronauts for the relatively low price of just $35,000 per night. They can stay a maximum of 30 days at the station. However, NASA won't be providing airfare for its customers, just room and board. Passengers will have to secure their own transportation through either of the agency's two hired contractors, SpaceX or Boeing. This endeavor may end up saving the space station as it's been set to be defunded by 2025. While government cooperation may be done with it, full privatization and commercialization may just keep the ISS up and running for decades to come. Which idyllic space destination would you love to visit? I'd want to go to Pluto to give it some well-deserved and well-missed love and appreciation. Let me know in the comments below. 1. SpaceX if you've heard of any of these companies, it's probably SpaceX. As a beloved brainchild of Tesla CEO Elon Musk, SpaceX has already worked with NASA on 19 missions with its reusable Dragon capsule and Falcon 9 rocket. The company has plans of its own outside the agency, however, and they're much more ambitious than its rivals. Unsatisfied with just a low Earth orbit, SpaceX will give its passengers the chance to go to the moon, 
a trip that Japanese billionaire Yusaku Mezawa has already booked for 2023. Its Starship shuttle is already in the works. Once completed and fully tested, each trip will be able to take up to 100 private astronauts at a time. While the moon is cool, SpaceX was created in 2002 with the intention to eventually land man on Mars. It's still a bit out of the company's capability right now, but it hasn't given up on that goal. Musk's company has even released retro 50 style tourism posters to the Red Planet to remind us that what may have once been Pulp Fiction is getting closer and closer to reality.